hello and welcome to After Hours. I'm Theo, and I'll be guiding you through the performances this evening. On the show today, we explore a bit of Bath Spa campus and beyond in some outside recordings. <laughs> yes, we're getting out of the studio. Starting the show, we make our way to the prestigious Michael Tippett Center. The Michael Tippett Center has hosted many amazing musicians, and now is going to be showcasing the beautiful piano playing of Emma Jackson. She'll be performing her piece, Ada, for us. Let's hear more about Emma's journey with music. Okay. Hi, I'm Emma. I'm a pianist and composer. I started playing the piano when I was five or six. Um, my grandma had like this really, really old piano that couldn't be tuned or anything. Um, and I would just like kind of try and play it. And eventually I started having piano lessons. So I'm really inspired by composers such as Niels Fram and Olaf Arnolds, but also Hans Zimmer and M83 and also Schubert um, because they're all very different styles of music, but they all helped me to incorporate my own style. The piece was inspired by this really like still lake in the middle of like this forest in the summer and the piece is very like still and it's got lots of notes that are sort of sustained throughout um, and that's meant to like replicate the water just being like really still and then suddenly having slight movements with like birds and fish and stuff. Okay, so the trickiest piece that I can play is um, Beethoven's third movement of the Moonlight Sonata. Um, yeah. Okay, um. <laughs> um, so I'm on, my Instagram is called Piano Mindfulness, um, and I'm also on Facebook at Emma Jackson, and um, my website is called emmajacksonmusic.com. This is Ada and I hope you enjoy this piece.
And now over to a pond. Yes, a pond in Bath, where we are met by Artie Jackson and Carice Lewin of the band Hum. A quote from their SoundCloud bio describes Hum as a contemporary freak duo combining melodic fingerstyle guitar with hauntingly beautiful vocals. Well, let's sit back and have a listen to I'll Never Change. And to wrap up the show today, we take you outside the Bath Spa Commons building on the university campus to hear from Sally Robinson, who, in the next episode, will hear about how she had one of her songs played in space. But for now, this is Pele's Hair. Um, I'm Sally Robinson. I'm an indie folk singer-songwriter. I am based in Cardiff. Um, I play the guitar and I sing. Um, and I'm 22. <laughs> Drain the earth from beneath Melt the waves with the heat um, So I've always been uh, massively inspired by the natural world and stuff like that. Um, but more recently, particularly in lockdown, I found um, art and sculpture and stuff like that really inspirational just because I can't really leave the house and experience like the beach and stuff like that. So, yeah, I've been spending a lot of time reading books and sort of trying to get inspiration from other places. But, yeah, I think the natural world has been the, the main thing that's always sort of there in the background. <laughs> 
Yes, yeah, so this next song is called Pele's Hair. Um, it's basically inspired by volcanic glass and the way that it forms. Um, it's part of the fire pair, which will be out at the end of June. <laughs> um, so this is called Pele's Hair. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Melt the waves with the thunder Drain the earth from beneath Melt the waves with the heat I used to be rage, I used to be rage, I used to be Next episode is the final in this trilogy of After Hours. Join us for a mix of in-studio and out-of-studio performances with some returning artists already featured on the show. You won't want to miss it. See you then. <laughs>